Well, it is an honor to be here today. I'm very happy that our state of Illinois is the host to an important gathering of such a vast assemblage of people, men and women, who are committed to the mission of never again and also education. We just heard from Doris Kearns Goodwin how important it is that we teach our children, our grandchildren, and their grandchildren the lessons of the Holocaust, the fact that we must, as people, never forget, and each and every one of us has a role to play. A few years ago, I went to Auschwitz with a survivor of Auschwitz. I was with my youngest son, David, and that, that day is seared in my memory I shall never forget. It is important that all of us in our country support the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, and I'm so happy that so many people in Illinois do that in such a generous way. I want to particularly thank the honorees today, Fern and Manny. I was so moved by the video and then the personal testimony of both Fern and Manny. The fact that Manny was able to escape, came to our city of Chicago, volunteered for our military, worn the uniform of our country. We thank him for his ethic of service. Like my father, who also volunteered for the United States Navy during World War II, it was that great generation that liberated all of us from the clutches of Nazism and totalitarianism. I had a teacher at Georgetown University whose birth would be 100 years old. He was born in 1914. His name was Jan Karski. He lived in Poland. He penetrated the death camps. He saw the horrors of what was going on. He escaped the Gestapo, and he came to the West, including to the White House, and told Pre President Franklin Delano Roosevelt what was going on and pleaded with Fra President Roosevelt to do something right then and there about, the, uh, uh, about Auschwitz and all the other death camps. And Roosevelt told him that uh, the, the Allies had to win the war. And I thought it was always so sad that the, the Allies at that moment didn't take action and would have saved so many lives. And just seeing the video of the young or the, uh, the son of the mother who passed away, who lost her life and wrote that note to her son just before she died. It's so important, and I think is a reminder to us when we visit the museum and when we carry on our daily lives that we have a role to play. There is a passage in the Talmud that says, if you save one life, you save the whole world. So I am very, I think, honored today to be on behalf of the people of Illinois at this august and solemn gathering that we together shall make sure that we always save one life, save the whole world. Thank you.